Good morning. You're listening to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Uh, time once again for Chamber Chat. Joining us this morning is Lindsay Kiesler. Uh, she is president of your Catawba County Chamber of Commerce, or the Chamber. We're here this morning to talk about HKY for Vets. That's numeral four, HKY for Vets, but also for Vets. Also joining us this morning is Nathan Hewitt, uh, who is with the Economic uh, Development Corporation of Catawba County. Right. Nice to have you with us. And Thank you've you. got a new title, director. Director. Sounds very important, correct? It right. does sound important, and, and well, it should, sir. Uh, now, uh, I thought that um, um, Scott, of course, was the uh, president. President. Still is, yes, very uh, but, much. But I, so I was thinking, did he retire? Did he move no. on or something like that? So we just wanted to make sure. So, But you've got a, you were, you were working with existing industries, is that right? Right. For the last, I've been here since 2007. Um, working with the existing companies in the county. And I'm going to continue to do part of that. Right. But um, had a wonderful lady in our office for a number of years named Julie Pruitt. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Who Julie left back uh, last year, last November at this point. And so shifted over her responsibilities a little bit, but still working with the existing companies. And we just brought on a new person, uh, Kimberly Probst, who will kind of take more and more of my responsibilities from my past. So. Well, congratulations on that. Uh, a way to go. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, HKY for Vets. Lindsay Kiesler. Tell us about it, if you would, please, ma'am. And you did a great job right before we went on the air of doing it like in one sentence. I know that there's a lot more there, but uh, HKY for Vets. Uh, yes. Tell yes. us about it. So, Hal, thank you uh, always for the opportunity to come on and, and talk with you about great things that are happening in our community. And this is an example of one of those things. You okay. know, our community, uh, something that's unique about us, we feel, in Catawba County, our secret sauce, if you, if you will, you'll hear some community leaders say, is collaboration and partnerships. And this is, a, this is a great example of not only your chamber and your economic development corporation coming together to address a critical issue impacting business, which is filling jobs with great talent. Right. Um, but it's also us as nonprofit entities uh, working alongside of our business community. Um, to again help them address something that uh, that isn't that is an issue for them, uh, and then two working with transitioning military and transi- transitioning um, military and also military family members to connect them with great jobs and great careers in this region, and so that is exactly the definition of HKY for vets. This is a very much a public private partnership. Emphasis is on the private part because our business leaders in this community believe in being veteran ready and they believe in investing in this important work. Um, Nathan and also myself, we serve as that middle point, that connection point between great em- great employers and great careers and also great talent, um, individuals transitioning from our armed forces and uh, those that really need some some help and guidance in connecting them into their next career in the civilian sector. So that's what we do. That's what we do. HKYF4, the number 4, vets.com, if you want to look at our website. But we've been doing this work, uh, and it's ebbed and flowed and evolved and grown uh, since 2016. You said armed services. Uh, I guess you're working with all branches. All I think branches. at one point... You guys were taking trips over, not not Lejeune, but uh, there was another military base. Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg. I think that you'd made a couple trips over there and talked to the fine folks at Fort Bragg who would be transferring. And the military has, if I'm not mistaken, they want to set that up, too. They've got a pipeline that will help folks who have right. been in service to uh, our armed forces. But it's Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. It's everybody right. Is that right, Mr. Hewitt? Right. Yeah. So this is open to all, all individuals uh, right. and spouses. As Lindsay had said, really military families. We kind of focus on that broader family unit because often they are families. Sure, um, oh, yeah. Which so that goes into terms of you know the population growth and and also bringing new new life and blood here to this area. So it obviously impacts that. Um, yes, this is open really to anyone in any state of transition. So we do focus on folks that are um, in that that key point of life where they're coming out of the military, potentially been out of the civilian world, quote unquote, for, for many years, many so decades. So maybe you're talking about somebody who's put their 20 in. Correct. It right. could be anywhere from that, you know, one, one deployment or one tour through right. uh, someone that's retired. Right. And so um, 
we try our best to help any of those individuals. And also we've got the folks that, that may be here in this region already that are employed, maybe have uh, want to transition to something, you know, maybe they're underemployed, maybe they're unemployed, and they, we do help them also if they're already here to find hopefully a, a better opportunity um, for them. So you, by working with existing industries, are going to hear from people who say, exactly. Mr. Exactly. Uh, we're really looking for a very skilled electrician, and this is somebody we need, and you got somebody over here right. who's, who's, who's uh, you all have found out about who has been in for maybe 10 years, mm-hmm. maybe not fully retired, and is a really well-trained electrician, you can put those two together. Right. You've, you've boiled it down right there perfectly. So how do you, uh, how does the, the chamber fit in? You guys, you said you're the, the middle kind of point. Tell me about the chamber's role in this. Yeah, so it's really an EDC chamber joint effort. Okay, gotcha. So gotcha. we work on this together every, every day. Um, essentially. But I will say our our strategy is like we have a, a four-prong approach. Okay. Um, I'll talk about a couple and then maybe I'll dish it over to, to Nathan Very to talk good. about a couple. So okay. um, that one-on-one, that really high touch, we, we, we founded this effort on a high touch with a high touch strategy. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're meeting the needs of both of our employer, our employer partners, right. in addition to those that those tra- that are in transition sure, that come to into work. our funnel. Right, right. Exactly. So um, Nathan works with those that uh, transition into our funnel, um, those that are seeking employment, if you will, directly. Right. So they have their MOS, their military occupational specialty, right. and it's their job in the military. A lot of times it's difficult for them to see how it transitioned into civilian. They may say, hey, I'm interested in this type of work. Well, on the other side, we have great employers that we work with that have a menu of positions that are available. Right. Um, and so Nathan will literally, as you mentioned earlier, put two one and one right. together um, right. and match them. So we'll often send resumes directly to those hiring managers gotcha. for them to look at. So that's one problem. Yes. And then we ha- we host virtual hiring events. Virtual hiring events. Right. Because so I know is, at one point yes. you have actually brought some uh, special right. from folks over and, and done a nice uh, big deal with the shrimp cocktails and everything. Yeah. So right. we had, we've had in-person events. We've also gone on base and have been right. in person at the various installations across our state right <clears throat> but really since the pandemic we've all been used to that virtual, virtual meetings, interaction right. mm-hmm. and we have discovered that having these virtual hiring events has been a very effective way to have high quality interaction with uh, between employers and these candidates okay so um, we've hosted one per quarter we've actually opened them up we've focused on military and transition transitioning military we've also fo- opened it up, them up to uh veterans in our region and even you know recently recent college grads and things like that okay. but that's been a great um great area that's been effective for us okay very good mr Jarrett. what else are we doing I, i'd say a key part is really embracing the folks that are already here so okay. one thing we've we've built you mentioned just started, unemployed right uh, is, is to better network who's here already. Good. So that's kind of a soft landing spot if you're just looking at coming to the community. But also, a lot of these folks, if they're if they're new to the community, don't have those professional connections, social connections as, right. as easily. And it's hard to break into that, obviously. Sure. Um, especially with the pandemic in your way. And so we've started uh, HKY for Vets Professional Connections. Um, it is an in-person event. We, it's, it's just really kind of been informal to this point. Just had it in October. We're right. looking at doing another one before the end of the year. But that is just really to get these folks out and understand there there are a lot of, um, oh, you know, absolutely. we have American Legion, VFW, great organizations here. But um, there needs to be something also focused on better connecting those that just, you know, <laughs> came, you know came off the boat, if you will. Right. Um, and that was a really great event we had a couple of weeks ago. And um, so that's that's a huge initiative right now is to really better connect who's already here. Very good. And that uh, that's basically the, the way that this thing works. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Very so good. our ask this morning is really simply, um, first of all, thank you. Thank you to our existing employer partners that right. believe in being veteran ready, that believe in, in hiring these high-quality individuals that are coming out of our armed forces. Uh, secondly, Veterans Day is this week, right? Right. So we we really we have a we have a lot of veterans in our community. Yes, we do. We have a lot of active guard and reservists. Yes, we do. That are in this community that call Catawba County and our greater region home. So we want to say thank you. 
We want to say thank you to those that have served us, that have been, uh, that have sacrificed much, and also their family members that have sacrificed much. We want to be the next place for them to call home. We want to be, we want to help them find their next pur- purpose, mission, and team. And so, if we can help anyone in in, in that phase of life, please reach out to us. Uh, HKYforvets.com. HKYforvets.com. A lot of information in a very short period of time. Y'all just did great. Lindsay Kiesler, uh, president of your Catawba Chamber of Commerce, the Chamber. Uh, Nathan Hurick, uh, director, EDC, Catawba County, uh, talking about Hickory for Vets. Thank you both very much. Thank, Thank you, Hal.